hardcore players can say what they want about casual games, but Nintendo has been working through its old-school franchises on the Wii faster than anyone thought it would. With Mario, Metroid, Zelda, and Smash Brothers already available for the system, surprisingly there aren't many of the usual suspects left in the quiver. One that does remain is Mario Kart, though not for long. The Italian plumber has established quite a resume on the track. While minimal tweaks have been added over the years since the series left the Super Nintendo starting grid, the foundation has predominantly remained the same. Accessible, yet deep racing with an incredible multiplayer element. Much of that hasn't changed with Mario Kart for the Wii, despite it having some of the biggest changes in franchise history. For the first time in series history, you're not just using go-karts. Motorbikes are included this time around, though from our limited playtime, they don't seem to handle all that differently from their four-wheeled counterparts. Both are rated as light, medium, and heavy, with each factoring into top speed, turning, and their ability to withstand contact. They also feature ratings for drifting, turbo boost, and maintaining speed when off the track which should make for some tough decisions based on the track selected. Another big change is how power sliding is handled. In the past, you could initiate the power slide and then begin wiggling the stick or the D-pad left and right, building a turbo boost with each trip from side to side. It was a relatively simple action, yet it required finesse to keep your cart on a line while doing it. That system has been removed, in favor of simply holding the power slide button until the turbo is full and then releasing it for the boost. It eliminates snaking, or the ability to power slide the entire course. Some consider that cheating, some consider it the next level in skill. Regardless, it's gone. Alternately, you can select automatic power sliding if you want to take even more skill out of the equation. While you can't choose whether to snake or not, you can select how you want to pilot your vehicle. The game comes with a plastic steering wheel that you can snap the Wii Remote into to steer like the real thing, although we definitely faced a learning curve while using it. You can also use the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, a classic controller, or a GameCube controller, so you don't have to use the motion controls if you don't want to. Gone are the tandem vehicles from Double Dash for the Cube. The Wii version reverts back to the classic single rider gameplay, and there are well over a dozen different Nintendo mascots, with each one having their own set of tricks to perform out of some cleverly placed half pipes and ramps. Land a trick, and you get a turbo boost. You can also pull wheelies with the motorbikes to get a nice thrust forward. Of course, if your racing skills aren't enough, you can always use the patented Mario Kart power-ups. You get the new additions from Mario Kart DS like Bullet Bill and the Squid, and some new ones as well. Best of all, you can use your Miis as drivers, and they congregate trackside to watch each race. Where modes are concerned, you get the typical Grand Prix option for three different motor classes. The 50cc class is for carts only, the 100cc class is for bikes only, and the 150cc class is a mixture of the two. Then there's also the typical time trial mode with ghost data from Nintendo's treehouse testers to race against. But easily, the biggest new mode is the online play for up to 12 racers at a time. While you can't play the Grand Prix online, you can whip around any of the game's 16 classic and 16 new tracks. You can also upload or download ghost data and it'll keep your stats for leaderboards. Just keep that friend code handy. The options don't end there. You can also play team-based battle mode on 10 different maps online or off with up to 12 drivers, although the rules have changed a little bit. When you lose all three of your balloons, you can still continue the fight because the scoring is points-based. The final piece of the puzzle is the Mario Kart channel. When you first boot up the game, it installs it to the Wii menu, allowing you to access rankings, tournaments, ghost data, and check for friends online without having to insert the disc. Based upon our time with Mario Kart for the Wii, we're just as excited as we are nervous. We can't wait to get online and flex our skills, but we have concerns that the game may have been simplified a little too much for the expanded audience of the Wii. We won't have to wait long to find out, as it's currently scheduled for release in late April. So stick around as we rev up our full review. See you next time!